Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and as part of our Android Basics series, today I'm going to show you how to use Android Beam. Now, Android Beam is a really cool little feature that's included in almost all modern Android phones. Basically, it allows two Android devices to send photos, music, links, and other types of files between one another wirelessly all by just touching the two devices together. To get this one going, the first thing you'll need to do is make sure that the NFC feature is enabled on both devices. This option will be in the main settings menu, but depending on your phone, it might be in a slightly different location. So I'd suggest using the search feature in settings to find it. But once you're sure that's enabled, the only other rule is that both devices need to have their screens turned on. Beyond that, let's say you're looking at a web page or a picture and you like to send it from one phone to the other. Basically all you do is bring the two devices together back to back and you'll see the screen shrink away. Where it says touch to beam, just do exactly that. Touch the screen and it will beam that same web page or picture over to the other phone. Then let's say there's a particular file, maybe like an mp3 that you'd like to send. To use Android Beam for that, you'll need to install a file browser app, which there are plenty of them available on the Play Store. But basically all you do is open up your file browser app and navigate to the file that you would like to send over Android Beam. From here, just long press the file and choose Share or Send in this case. And then one of the options in this little menu here should be Android Beam. So go ahead and select that. From here, you'll see the screen shrink away just like it did earlier. So go ahead and bring the two devices together back to back. This time you don't even have to touch the screen to do anything. Instead, you'll start to see the other file downloading on the other device. And when it's done, you'll have a link to it right here in your notification tray. All you got to do is tap that link to view the file and you should be all set. But for more Android basics like this, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.